got to get this, got to get this going because I'm not saying I want to be finished before Thanksgiving, so I have something else to be thankful for. Right, the way it's going now, I'll be happy we have this one. <laughs> we were at this pace of four to five days for, uh, let's say, two acres. We're talking about. First of all, I can do the math, but but I won't be home for Thanksgiving. I can tell you that. <laughs> at this pace, we're at day five to five two. Oh, 200, 200 days. <laughs> I won't be home for. <laughs> I won't be home for Thanksgiving, Christmas, nor New Year's. So, uh, so we gotta speed this pace up. <laughs> like I said, I like to get it by Thanksgiving. A long, long ride, long haul, whatever you call it, but we almost there. You know, some of them are ready and some of them are not. So to your point earlier, we're gonna probably start kind of spot spot harvesting. Yeah, this one has a little bit of purple in it. So have you noticed some of the different variety in the variety? Everyone seems really excited about it. And they're into CBD oil and that's all I hear, CBD oil, CBD oil. So from when I started the, about a year and a half ago to what it's become, I mean, we went from 20 to 320 something farmers and we get calls every day of people wanting to switch their land over to hemp farming so I just feel like they're ready for something new. I've talked to everybody. My brother's like when are you gonna do something? Let's stop talking and we started researching and we spent two months just researching on equipment but see next year we want to be able to say to farmers here's what you need here's equipment here it is because just for that transplanter and that took a month just to not only just to know what type of transplanter just to set it up. Right, we had to learn how to operate it because we had nobody to tell us what to do with it. I think it's important to connect with all the farmers and see what their story is and where they came from and why they're involved with hemp. I just think it's really important to connect that way because they're our future. You know, we kept saying, Rodney kept saying, we need to give them water, give them water, because they, you know, they need water. And we're like, you know, I said, I'm a technology guy, I'm from, I'm not a true farmer. I haven't farmed in 30 years. I don't know what give water means. And then we got about an inch of rain in Bowman and they just shot up and I'm like, whoa, what happened? One inch of rain that God gives us is equivalent to, to get that same amount, you've got to put down 26,500 gallons of water for one acre. And I'm like, oh, now I get it. When Rodney says give him water, that's what, so just to get one, so if that's a 10 acre field. It really means give them water. Yeah. So 10 acres times, what did I say, 26,500? 265,000 gallons. So right now on one run, I'm doing 14,000. So it take me 20 days to get the equivalent of what God can do in 30 minutes. You know, the irrigation has been a savior, especially it's been the, the highest drought in South Carolina in a I mean, we got an inch, we got three inches of rain Fourth of July week, and that's when we we blew out a couple of um, about an acre of plants over in a field, and then we didn't get we got uh, hurricane we got a half an inch, and then last week we got two inches, so that's five inches of rain in three or four months. Wow, that's, yeah. So that drip irrigation has been a savior, not just from the um, water, but that's how we feed the plants. So what do you think you would do different next year? Put the soil amendments in up front. Spend the money, no matter how much it is. And I think if anything, I would tell farmers, do your soil test, do your soil test, do your soil test, do your soil test. And this is how it looks when it's dry. So this is dry right here. The hemp plant has all kinds of different compounds in it. The most famous right now, most well-known being CBD, but there's many other compounds in hemp. But what we're growing for right now is high CBD content. Uh, you were saying earlier, a lot of the growers in the area, if they're doing great, they're maybe in 10%, 12%. Um, growing organic and investing in good genetics and good fertility, you're at 26% here. Um, have you heard of anyone else in that range? No, not anyone else in that range. Um, across the United States. 
very few people at that range. You know, we know that Cherry Wine um, SW1 is what gave us a 26%. Then we know the Marlowe is what we planted about six to seven weeks ago um, is 18%. Oh, wow. So you're taking, you're taking a, and they're only about this big, right. but they may be a half a pound and you got 18%, you'll take that all day long in six weeks. So that's where this, like an autoflower, if you can do a small plant, and which is a lot easier to handle. I mean, you know, like you're talking about cutting out of the field. I mean, well, those big plants are hard to get out of the field right. and they're hard to take care of. And you're taking about three months to take care of those big plants. And um, some Space of them spacing the, dryer. spacing the dryer. If you've got those little plants like a, that are that high mm -hmm. and they're pumping 18 percent um, CBD oil content and you grew them in less than two months. I mean, you can do three seasons at that level, and that's and, one and of the... increase your density, planting density. Exactly. That's yeah. what I would do next year. I would increase the planting density and run those smaller, yeah. smaller units. And, um, you know, that's, that was one of the things that the South Carolina Agriculture Commissioner was very impressed with yesterday in terms of that could be a game changer. Um, smaller density, I mean, reduce the density, smaller increase plants, the density. increase the density, smaller plants, mm -hmm. higher CBD oil content, I mean, that's, you know, people can manage that a lot easier. Yeah. They're making it happen, you know, it's looking good. I mean, they're dry. it's dry, it's working. I'm sure I'd like it to be quicker, but at least it's working.